Welcome, everybody. The NFL regular season is over, which means it's time to look forward to the NFL offseason. I'm Joe with the Game House. Today, we'll be doing a New York Giants NFL mock draft. The New York Giants are up in our 2024 NFL mock draft series. As a reminder, we're using the NFL mock drafts mock draft database simulator. It's really good because it mixes the, the big boards from around the internet to kind of put a consensus big board together. That'll help us as we draft here. We're also be rejecting all trades. It's still too early, and I just don't think it's really realistic to have uh, trades go through uh, at this point, or even some of the trades that do go through aren't realistic either. So the New York Giants are up. They didn't have the best season last season. We got to see some cool stuff with Tommy DeVito. That was really awesome. Um, you know, Tyrod Taylor helped fill in. Uh, you know, some of these mock draft data, database simulators, some of the mock draft simulators don't do a good job of this. Uh, I don't think there's any way that Drake May especially falls, but probably Jaden Daniels as, as well. I think if you're the Giants, you got to take your chances here. You go Drake May. You know, Daniel Jones, probably going to keep him on the roster this year, maybe cut him next year with the way the contract's going but you need a quarterback in this league if Brian Dable thinks he can work with one of the guys who falls or if they need to trade up maybe they maybe this is a realistic scenario because they can trade up or something I don't know uh, it's just hard to believe when the top three teams also need quarterbacks so that takes us to round two with pick number 39 really opens things up here for this team there's a couple guys here you could take you could take some of the wide receivers here you could also take Jackson Powers Johnson and this offensive line needs to be needs to be helped out a little bit I think I'm going to go to Jackson Powers Johnson. He's a guy that played center at Oregon. Really impressed this year. Can really help that offensive line. And I, you also have this pick at 47 that you can get a receiver. So we see Adonai Mitchell falls. We'll see if another guy, Xavier Leggett, a, a guy who a lot of people like, who, who's at the senior bowl right now, Devontae Walker as well. Uh, I'm going to go Adonai Mitchell. I believe he's the highest rated one on my board so far. It's still a lot of, a lot of time before the, that's all finalized. Uh, but I'm going to go with Donai Mitchell. He's a bigger receiver, but he has speed. He can push the field, can help you give weapons to your new quarterback. Or if you don't get Drake May uh, in this draft, hypothetically, you could still draft the Donai Mitchell at that pick uh, and help your quarterback out, whoever that might be. You just need more weapons. Uh, it's pick number 70. If we can get an offensive lineman who falls, this is very offensive lineman heavy, offensive tackle heavy draft, but it's mostly at the top. That would be helpful. Uh, but as we see, there's no, no one in range really here. So maybe this is a trade down situation for him. There's plenty of places you can get help on this team, though. I do really like Tyler Newbin. You might go with the best player available type thing here uh, because I do need help on the defense. Jeremiah Trotter has been a very solid linebacker as well. Um, I, I'll take Tyler Newbin. I think he's a really good player, has a lot of range, experience at the college level. I think he can come in and contribute right away. Maybe be the last of these this NFL draft for them that really creates a huge impact year one for the Giants. And if you get that, that would be amazing. That takes us to pick 107. Again, maybe looking for depth here. Maybe looking for guys who can play special teams. Um, let's. They, they really want me to take defensive linemen, corner as well. Let's go Kyrie Jackson, the corner out of Oregon. He formerly played at Alabama, transferred to Oregon this year. Didn't have the greatest season, but I think he played solidly enough that you could take him in the middle rounds and feel comfortable about that selection. Moving on to pick number 139. Again, looking for depth, looking for guys who can play special teams. Let's get that defensive lineman right now. I really do like Dwayne Carter out of Duke, uh, a guy who really helped that defense. The defense, I think, was underrated all year long. Riley Leonard went out with an injury, and that team was held together by a good defensive play. He could be a guy who I think makes, makes the back end of that roster for the Giants. And that'll take us to the last pick that they have, pick number 184. We'll finally get some offensive line depth at the tackle spot here. Javon Foster had a really good career uh, at Missouri. I think he's worthy of being a selection here for the Giants at the last round. Maybe you get something out of him. Maybe he develops in the, in the NFL draft um, and, and becomes something that you can use later on as it finishes out this mock draft. We're going to start going through it right now. We get Drake May. Don't know how realistic it is that any of these quarterbacks fall, but maybe they trade up for him. They're going to be trying to upgrade the quarterback position any way they can. Jackson Powers Johnson, the center from Oregon, um, you know, really can help Im improve the interior offensive line. If you don't like him at center, you can move him to guard, possibly. Adonai Mitchell, the wide receiver out of Texas. Uh, very tall, but also can stretch the field vertically. I think that really helps that offense overall. Can help free up some space for Saquon Barkley. Tyler Newbin, a good safety with range and experience. And then we have some guys who are going to provide some depth to start. Kyrie Jackson out of Oregon, Dwayne Carter out of Duke, and Javon Foster out of Missouri. Let me know, let me know what you think of the picks down below. We'll be, keep on doing these mock drafts as we go along. Uh, for now, thanks for watching. We'll see everyone next time.